Okay, so hi everybody and uh, welcome, I almost said. Um, so I'm sitting here, Sana, Sanita Beatrice, sitting here with Matt Schwentek from Somatic Consent. And uh, today we decided to have uh, just an open uh, conversation about the armoring and what the armoring have done for us. And we're basically gonna yeah, talk about about it. And if you're watching this and you have any questions, please put them in so we can respond to you in this moment. And uh, yeah, we're learning this format, so we have a bit of fun and we're just exploring here. So please interact, engage, uh, say yes, uh, ask questions and help us out here to make a great first launch of our Facebook Live. <laughs> so hi, Matt. Hi, Sana. I want to say a few words as well. As Sana yeah. said already, Matt went in Berlin at the moment, uh, founded Somatic Consent. I'm a total neurological geek, relationship uh, expert, and um, uh, as well a body worker and facilitator. And the funny thing is that Sana, you and I, we were as well uh, lovers. We are not only colleagues, we were lovers, and we have experienced relationship as one of the best de-armoring methods uh, <laughs> that are around. There's nothing to hide. There's yeah. nothing to play nice sugar coat or no. make nice. So, <laughs> so I would say we are both really de-armoring experts. So we know in all corners of what can be de-armored, that can be emotional, physically, psychologically, spiritually, or... <laughs> sexually so we know what we're talking about yeah we do and I actually love that because that kind of brings in directly the meta perspective or the whole the, the whole aspect of the armoring which is really the arm like the armoring for us and and also the school the armoring art school that the armoring is not only what some people say if you know the armoring or if you don't know the armoring but mainly what people know the armoring for is a hands-on practice where where you release em stored emotions and blockages traumas in order to release life force energy in the body so you can live more free full and happy mm -hmm. and who doesn't want that but the art form of the armoring for us is also like what are the all the armors that we have in our body like matt just said you know with, within relationship sexuality shadow work the pieces that we don't really love about ourselves yet <laughs> And all those things that scares us, you know, how can we use that as a sport in order to live more fully and freely? Yeah. Who, who Sana, did you have actually your first de-armoring session with? Yeah, I don't know. It was this man I <laughs> met on, on Ingsbacka like 10 years ago. Oh, but it was you. <laughs> no, no, seriously? So you had the first de-armoring yeah, session? Yeah, my first my de-armoring first session was actually with you. Yeah. So, so this is also funny in, in our, what I find interesting in, uh, in our relating, whatever that is and whatever that's going to be, <laughs> we shape shifting, you know, the, the, the dynamics. So yeah, I had my, my first de uh, session with you 10 years, like maybe 10 and a half year ago now. Yeah. And that was absolutely an absolute eye opener. And I remember being so intrigued because you were working with the, the sexuality piece. And I like, I was just like sniffing on, on the Tantra and conscious sexuality and like open my body deeper. You know, I, I, by that time done so much other types of work like shamanism, conscious work, blah, blah, blah. But I hadn't stepped into the sexual healing work and, and the potency of that mm -hmm. yet. And I remember that was a real eye opener. And I was really kind of curious to learn with how to run sexual energy and how that could open other people and what could do to my own body and uh, yeah that changed my life i mean after having those sessions and going to another school where i had like a really profound yoni de armoring and cervix healing i started to train with you mm -hmm. and uh, even selling my dj equipment <laughs> so i was like I'm just going to choose my new path. I just sold all my records, my my vinyl players, my mixer, just like everything and invested in, in, in this to learn with you. Yeah, I just I just remember that 10 years ago, um, 
I was actually here in Berlin when I started and, and I, I had uh, this um, deep epiphany about uh, uh, sexual de-armoring and, and cervical work. So I was start connecting here with a midwife in Berlin mm -hmm. and uh, we were combining tantric work with this uh, kind of internal work of uh, cervical and, and, and uh, yoni de-armoring. And so that was literally the, the, the beginning of my professional career and kind of finding the very clear mm -hmm. distinction between sexual the armoring so so working with pleasure but being very in a clear way mm. that the pleasure that is um, uh, occurring here that this is just for the person i'm working with so it's just like mm. this what is happening what i'm doing here this mm. is just for you and mm. it has to be for you so that the armoring is literally allows the person that we're working with or the mm. you in this first case and let's remember that so clearly that, that <laughs> a deep honor in there that I had to be clear that this is for you uh, recklessly without taking anything for myself out of here. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I just, it just was, was, was like, a, like, like, like a deep quality and art form to, to um, uh, uh, relate sexually that is not relational like lovers so very clear professionally that this is possible and that we can do sensual sexually the armoring that is not creating a hook between people yeah. and i think really that's where the murkiness can come in and, and also why me and dion choose to start the armoring training school or the armoring arts like we saw this blend how easy it is when we start to work with genitals because it's so much shadows and and, and repression around our sexuality. So as soon as we come together with another person, we make a meaning out of it, that it means something. I mean, I still need to, I still need to work on that piece to some degree. Yeah, so, so that is so, uh, yeah, it's so profound to do that, but it's so utterly important to, to be able to discern and also allow oneself to feel pleasure in there. Mm -hmm. You know, if we choose to work with the pleasure-based de-armoring, you know, there's just like, for some of you, I'm just going to talk also for audience, like this doesn't always need to be pleasure involved, you know, then it can also be just more clinical trauma healing. Um, but both me and Matt have chosen to work more to the pleasure direction and, and life enhancing, the life enhancing path. Yeah, but I think, yeah. So this is what we all want. We just want to have more pleasure or more meaningful encounter there, more joyful and, and juicy, right? And yeah. then the question is, what is in the way that we can just live that fully? Exactly. Yeah. And so, 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 so that me including carrying this, all these hidden little patterns and belief system there as well having emotional resistance in our body so that the armoring can be still emotional as we both know that that um <laughs> what's the resistance against that that we don't want to feel that can be the honor should we open up for an, a, a public public process <laughs> not just joking <laughs> right on the spot uh, but there was something and, and i actually like that um because i can notice what, what often keeps me in wonder with choosing the path of a more pleasure-based de-armoring or living a life in pleasure and, and embracing sexuality and an orgasmic way of living, so to say, that there is still this layer in the field where people don't make it, take it as serious. You know, now it's changing, but, you know, 10 years ago or even five years ago, it was still kind of uncomfortable. Like people value the like the the trauma therapy like the deep solid trauma therapy more than actually being alive and fulfilled and joyful as yes if that wouldn't have the same weight while i see it on the planet like fuck we need more joyful connected sexually connected alive people that do what the fuck they love you know for me that's also to the armor like where am i holding back on myself in order to live the greatest gift that I am and do what I love in the world. Mm. Like how, what couldn't be more useful, you know? Mm. Which for me is also de -armoring. Where are my blockages to live fully empowered in sovereignty, autonomy, in my truth, you know, despite what's going on around me. Mm. And that's like, 
it's, it's an it's an interesting interesting thing when when I just look back to to the beginning of the armoring and how I learned that and how I um, kind of started with the dynamics you know very intuitive and very compassionate and empathetic feeling what's going on in people that uh, that about I don't know to start in 2014 going really um, uh, creating consensual structures how how can we educate people in creating this environment that 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 when people doing the armoring that they can create a structure that works you know not based on good luck that you have the right compassion or the right empathy yeah. no it's just like how can we teach people to learn that they can actually fall back on a structure that works so i just yeah. stick my nose in all kind of ways of making that accessible, mm. explainable, teachable, and really um, learnable for people. How does the armor actually work? What What is it actually? How is yeah. it related to our nervous system? How is it related to trauma? How is it related to pleasure? How is it related to spirituality? And really getting a clear download of that, what is possible. Yeah, yeah you created a really amazing structure around that. And yeah. you offer that in your training to teach people to become a de-armoring practitioner. So it's a, actually we're a good match. We are a good match. <laughs> we are a good match. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's really important because also this, uh, since the field has been growing so much, it's even more important to have those form f frames also and structures and, the, you know, trauma awareness, the awareness about the nervous system, how do we function like on a primal level? Because there's also many people who get traumatized because practitioners don't, even if they come with good intentions, they might, you know, go strong or go hard or challenge a client because they can't really read them or, and, uh, and so intuition, intuition work, but the, like the importance of having that, that foundation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I just, I just, I just wrote a big paper about that. Maybe we just post that link here about mm -hmm. uh, what is the armoring and when is the armoring liberating and when is it re-traumatizing, and mm -hmm. um, and unfortunately there are a lot of uh, the armoring practitioner out there who have actually no idea what they're really doing. And um, so, so, so my aim and our or our aim is that people really getting a, a solid foundational education that when they touch somebody that they really know that so that that every practitioner out there can be the best version of their empowerment liberating skillful amazing being that they can be you know yeah exactly and this is where i feel where we are both dedicated as well with dn yeah. um kind of uh, letting people find the best version of themselves yeah totally that's like the the baseline yeah and this is what I what I actually love with the Diamond training as well because it's such a most of the time what we what I hear in the end you know in the ending circle is like well I came here and I thought I would learn points a set of points but I leave with this whole toolbox and then you you know it's life changing because we're working so much with the individual processing like we are so good you know three teachers coming from different angles and just reading people and processing and really kind of helping them to flower and grow because if we can't really i mean we can only take others as deep as we can take ourselves and that's why we designed this training also like a 50 50 percent experience so people would um yes so matt is asking here to post a paper so uh, matt will post it here after yeah mm -hmm. uh yeah so that actually the training is really a 50 50 percent based like on technique and then also self experience and personal development and spiritual awakening because we really need we cannot only just learn points because if we don't have depth and presence and solidity then we people will feel it people's nervous system will not kind of respond and open and relax to that 
Yeah, I kind of totally love that that approach. You know, in the old way of de armoring, the person who's doing the armoring is the expert. You know, as you said that about the points, they know all the points. So it's just the 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 person who is receiving this the the experience is giving all their power to the practitioner that this person knows what the right points are. And I just love this place of that there is this like a co-regulating relational dynamic between the two people who are working together mm. that they can go as deep as they both relate with another mm. with the expertise and the skills of the practitioner of course yeah. and with the expertise and the skills of the person's body the mm -hmm. practitioner is working on and that becomes a co-regulating relationship yeah. like encounter that is based on a frame that can within an agreement go completely in a liberating yeah. dynamic and that's this is so rich i love that so much when that happens yeah beautiful and also that piece what you say now it's so important that <clears throat> because many people want to go to an expert and they want to be fixed they want to be healed they're like save me save me and kind of want to do the work but not really wanting to do the work so when we're de-armoring that sense and really inviting people to really meet themselves, this is where the real shift is happening. You know, otherwise it would just be a force from the outside or maybe an, an encouragement, but this like really invitation of like, okay, fuck, I need, I need to show up for myself here. And this is like, a, it's an outer space holder that yes, that, you know, can hold that space, but yeah, it's, it's fascinating to see those encounters with people who like, they don't want to go they just don't want to take the full responsibility and how incredible and empowering it is when they finally just like okay fuck it i'm just going to do it you know mm -hmm. yeah what pops up in me is this sentence empowered people empower people and that's mm -hmm. what we do we empower people empower yeah. people right yeah, exactly. so, and every everyone who just wants to be empowered and wants to empower others just mm -hmm. come and join we have we have the right spot, we have the right place yeah. and the right environment for you. And if that resonates with you, um, you're more than welcome. So yeah. very hard, wholeheartedly dedicated to empower people to empower people. Yeah. And to have fun along the way. So um, there is, uh, yeah, I see now it's, it's 10 to 1 and we both have the course coming up. This was actually really fun. And I would just want to say also, if somebody's watching out there, so we have this training coming up now in, in 19th of May in Estonia. And due to the fantastic uh, COVID, which is existing on the planet for the moment, we had a few last minute dropouts. So we're offering uh, three slots for a really great discount. So uh, a 400 euro discount. And if you feel that like you're on the brink, or you know you have a friend that's on the brink like that you think would benefit from this or you just feel like hell yes then then please write to info at thedearmoringarts.com and ask and you get more information so we would really uh, love to see you there and also if you have any questions about uh, this topic uh just write to me and we can make more calls like this about it because i actually really enjoyed this what do you think matt was I love Fun. that, you know, and yeah, that, all the levels of de armoring, and there might be people who just want to learn more about relationship de armoring. Yeah, we're both really expert in that too. <laughs> we are. <laughs> we show up in the rawness. Yeah, great. <laughs> so let's have that. Uh, um, yeah, we can have topics. Definitely, relationship, sexuality, pleasure, joy, uh, sport, oh, uh, spiritual practice. Huh? Orgasm orgasm yes to orgasm or not to orgasm or when to orgasm and when not to orgasm that's the question mm. <laughs> and i see there are a couple of questions here so yeah matt you asked for this paper that you uh, spoke about matt when you put it on your wall in the on my wall in this put it in the comments yeah. of this video yeah and to be as you say it would be lovely to share this recording i think you can share it already now Otherwise, when I have, uh, when we have stopped, I think you can share it. I'm not sure, but I believe so, because it's public. So I think you can share and please do. Lovely. And thank you, Christiana. You're the best. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> and uh, Christiana wants, definitely wants a topic on relationship de-armoring. So I, I, I believe we can show up on that, Matt. What do you think? 
we are definitely experts at the moment finding all yeah. the painful shit spots to look at. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so funny. Um, any last words, Matt? What would you inspire the, the audience with? Um, that um, there's no goal to reach. There's never an arriving anywhere. And the armoring is a lifelong process that is really beautiful that um, we have always something to look at and that makes life actually rich. Mm. But avoiding looking at that makes it poor. Mm. I love that. Mm. Yeah, and I, I would just tie into that and, or follow up on that. Uh, just what you said, uh, the, the sport of the armoring or the sport of living and the invitation of all there is and see it that it actually actually makes us makes it worth living all the whatever pains and and but it's always a celebration there's always an outcome like we can always learn something and how much it depends on our mindset and willingness to share and uh, to feel and show up and look at ourselves mm -hmm. and uh, as annoying as it can be it's also absolutely wonderful mm -hmm. And I have to say, I really acknowledge and appreciate the space that we have here right now. So even on the camera, you and I being thousand kilometers distance between Berlin and Stockholm. But um, I have experienced as well the transformative vibration that we create when we hold a room together. So um, if that what we share here at the moment is resonating with anybody. So just imagine having us around for 11 days on that training. Uh, it will push you every button. <laughs> We will, we will push every from, button. From, from love lovingly, <laughs> lovingly, caringly, individually tailored, and there would be Dion in that tri in that combination as well. And he's he's sharp. <laughs> so a loving invitation. I hope to see you there, or a friend. Please show up with questions. Uh, thank you, Matt, for being here. I love you. Thanks for having me. Yeah.